Hi, welcome to Classic Cargo. Uh, so, I know I've had quite a few videos up this week, but we've been doing quite a bit with sandblasting, painting, trying to get things prepared. Um, so, I'm off to London tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, for the weekend. It's my sister's 70th birthday party, and she has quite a lot of guests invited, I think 150 or something. So I'm flying tomorrow from Vienna to Gatwick and then Gatwick back on to Vienna Monday afternoon. Um, so obviously I won't put any videos up for probably a week or so. Thank God, you are probably saying. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I put up so many videos, but I'm just trying to show what we actually get up to and what we do. Um, and, and like I said in the last video, I'll try and keep them in context. But this video tonight is going to show this, uh, the work we've done on the... Um, uh, on the Citroen and what hopefully what I'm intended to do with it and a little bit of this uh, pergola that we're taking down off the main garage roof or the garage roof uh, in the lower gar in the lower garden uh, because it, the water uh, it's been a massive storm today and the water's just pissing through it I mean if we leave it much longer it's going to damage the the wooden structure which is extremely strong and and was quite expensive to put up so I need to save it now before this winter comes um, but fortunately we've broken the back of the of the work now we've got all the, the main bits off it's just really a matter of pulling up the um, uh, the decking boards now um, and we'll bring a professional company in probably to certainly to find out what we need um, equipment wise or what we need from the roofing uh, and, and if it's a reasonable price I'll just get to crack on and do it because we not won't put this up, all this thing back up again until next spring let it dry out a little bit and, and we'll clean it up and tidy it up and paint it. So, as I say, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you in about a week's time. Take care for now. Bye. So this is the inside of the cab, looking pretty good, a lot of wood in this, wood in this and this like wadding, so all these we can pull out with my uh, um, dent puller, so the only thing I want to do is I want to do these two front legs here. And get inside, it's, it's missed a bit there, and on these front legs. So, we're going to do that now before we leave with it. So, I'll move my trailer out of the way, and the mirror's cutting these. You see how bad they are, more holes than the sea bag. The cab all painted up, got the doors done. Obviously, the door bottoms will need uh, repairing, and there's lots of dents and things on it. There's another one that side there. But uh, it's come out pretty good. A lot of repairs to do. These side bits for the uh, the hood, the bonnet, they're all going to need replacing. But the doors, the top part of the door is not too bad. But if you notice there, you see this here. And exactly the same on the other side. Some arsehole has put chains on the cab. You see it here? Exactly the same spot. Some arsehole's put a chain or a strap or whatever to lift the cab up. You can see where it's gone through here as well. And up here to lift the cab off. I mean, some people are just too dumb for words. I mean, I don't know. It makes you wonder. There you go, another one. But what I'll do is I'll take these side ones off anyway, they're only spot welded on. I'll take them off and repair them because they're pretty knackered and there's going to be rust under there anyway. This stuff, no problem, I can take that out with my uh, uh, dent puller uh, and double spot welder and single spot welder. I'll take all this out. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to replace all that. 
So I think we'll be in good shape, but I think the chassis looks really nice for us to come out and offer chassis in white. <laughs> yeah, as I say, there's a few areas where we missed, but it's going into uh, it'll be black, uh, like a, not satin, but a black shiny um, Galanz, I think it is in German. Um, yeah, uh, but I, I'll use um, uh, Hammerite. I have a friend in America called Gary who believes in this Paul 15, which from my understanding is good for fuel tanks and that kind of stuff. And he says he's had poor results with Amorite after years and years. But the thing with Amorite is the preparation has to be right. And I've had no problems with it. I've been using Amorite for years and years and years, whether it be spray can or, or paint on or um, using Amorite and putting thinners with it and, and, and uh, for spraying on. With a, with a gun, a Devilbis or whatever. But yeah, I think, uh, I think it's going to be nice. So, uh, at least all the parts are done. A lot of fettling work to do with it. I think it'll take some period of time. You can see here, all bits have got to be cut out of the bonnet. Um, I think the other wings in here. And of course the minis in here as well now. There's the other one. I mean, that, that alone is going to be a massive amount of work to take that out and then rebuild it and make that completely flat. That's going to be a lot of metal work plus a lot of lead loading to get that right. And uh, yeah, so there she is, the Mini. You can see what's going on in here now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a mess, we need to take the whole thing down. Fortunately the, the garage only comes up to this wall here. So this, this somewhere around here is the last bit of the roofing. So we can maybe use that space to store the part of the pergola and then just take the rest out. I'm gonna take these handrails off as well. But it's particularly bad here, right in this corner. The water was just piercing through like, like, a, like a waterfall yesterday when it rained really heavily under here. So it's all gotta come off. And try and save what we can. And the rest is, you can see how bad the water's gone through some of it. That uh, felting was just absolutely knackered. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got the roof off. Not bad up here. That's nice. So, as you can see, we've got the main beams down off this pergola. We've got the roof off, and then these main beams on the top here, they were really hard to get off. But I've forgotten how good the carpentry was. They've actually made these joints, as you can see there. I've forgotten just now how well this was made. And it was 15 years ago we put it up. Really good, uh, really nice joints on them. But you can see how big some of these we had a massive storm today. You can see here, unfortunately, we tried to get it out the wrong way and it split the split the wood. I, didn't, I couldn't remember which way the triangle was on it. Anyway, we'll fix it up. And there's the main beams for the top of the roof there. So, unfortunately, we got rain for a, a couple of days. So, the idea now is we'll take these posts out and this lattice work and we're going to leave this piece here, we'll unscrew it, we'll take all the banister off and we're, what we're hoping to do once these two pieces are down, these two lattice works are down either end is jack up this back wall and the two side walls here um, I've got some uh, car uh, casters for, that you put under the tyres of the car to move it around in a small space we put them under and we can roll the whole thing forward up to about here which is where the end of the garage is and then we can take all this boarding off and redo the roof and we'll get a professional company to come in and re-roof it for us because we'll get a guarantee then um, yeah so that's where we're at but they were absolute pig to get off and they're, they're massive the beams as you can see there they're all that size and they're pretty long that front one's really long as you can see but uh, they're in good nick. And there are the other beams, there are the two side beams underneath it. So, 
I know the job before winter sets in. So I'll catch you in a week's time. But as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and yeah, go out, make something, go out and do something. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.